I grew up in Newcastle, so obviously William Town's up the road. At that stage, when I was growing up, we had Mirages and then F-18s flying around. I didn't want really to think about joining the Air Force until end of year 12, and a mate of mine said, I've just applied for pilot in the Air Force. I went, oh, I've got the same marks as you. So I went to recruiting and I just strolled in and not knowing the whole process, and I spoke to the recruiter and said, oh, I managed to take my HSC in. He said, oh, what marks you get? So I showed him, he said, oh, okay, do you want to apply for Navigator? I said, no, I'm not a pilot, I'm going for pilot. That's all I knew really at the time, I'm going, I just want to be a pilot, fly F-18s, you know, it just seemed to be a logical sequence to me. <laughs> and 30 years later, here I am, so yeah. And I won't say I initially Perks was my first choice, but when I got here, you know, I went out low flying, and I fell in love with her. It was just a hoot, you know, and this is a really good platform, it was really cool. Plus the thing, you got, you know, four or five other people you get you go flying with, you know, hanging crap on all the time, and just having a chat, you know, you go somewhere and automatically you've got an instant dinner party, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, I just loved being around the Herx, so it was good fun, you know, and, and I just loved being in the squadron. It had a real, more than it can do, it was we will do. I mean, that, we laugh about the motto being sure, but it is literally, can you do it? Sure. You know, do you want to do it? Yeah, sure. You can 36 do it? Sure. You know, and it really was the culture to so get the job done. So my proudest moment as a Herc pilot was getting my distinguished service medal, my dear Sam, you know, from Iraq, work in Iraq. And it wasn't just me, it was obviously my crew as well, but it was quite nice to be recognised in, in that fashion. Uh, recently I was at Anzac Day service with the 36 Squadron boys and my oldest son just was watching me and he said to me at the end of it, you're different dad, with, with the 36 Squadron boys. I went, oh, good or bad, I'm not sure, different. He said, no, no, you're more relaxed, you're more comfortable, you're just who you are. And it's that level of, you know, shared experience and camaraderie that you, you just, you try and explain to people outside the organisation and, and the Air Force or the ADF and, and it's quite hard to explain to them you know, you've, what you've seen, what you've done, but those shared experiences and that, that camaraderie that you get from that period and, and the stories and people see it your best and your worst, you know, your peaks and your troughs and so forth. So yeah, it's a bit like family, you know. So looking back on my nearly 19 years in the Air Force, it was a wonderful time and Herc's obviously a big part of that and the reason why I stayed so long was because of that that role that we had and uh, I, I just thoroughly enjoyed my time in the Air Force. I recommend it. It's great to be a part of the centenary.